All right, focus, yeah, we're there. Okay, so what I had to do was put two of these washers. Can you see that there's two of them stacked? And because I remember the maker of, the, this used to not be a problem before years ago. I've, only recently, and uh, the person who makes these hoses in our local area, he's using this company that does not fit. The clearances are not correct, so they cannot uh, correctly align up. So you see what I'm reverting to, uh, hackanism. So, and I'm not straight there, as you can see. But I'm gonna, I'm putting a little pressure here and I'm trying to keep, there we go, now we're getting, I was hitting the back of the shoulder with the inside shoulder of the nut to the fitting. Inward pressure, so the two washers don't slide up and down. They stay perpendicular and very straight. They don't slide, don't, they don't misalign. And I wiggle it around until, and I'm very slippy here with the nylog all over my fingers. So now I'm looking for my clearance here. We're interfering with another hose that wants to hit here. We have a fitting that wants to hit here. It's just, just not a happy camper. So let's do this. Now, got to get the second wrench on there. But I'll get the second wrench on here and I have to tighten this up so I could squeeze the copper between the aluminum, and the few pieces of copper onto the steel just because of that's the situation we have. But hope you learned something. Oh, what you learn is stick with the original steel fittings and don't use the aluminum in these old applications like this.